All right, welcome back to the GSK Wealth Builders channel. Today we're going to be talking about helium earnings. That's the number one question I get, so I'm going to do a video on it. I'm just going to go and show you the process on how you can find out on your own. Like I can't give you the answer of how much money your city makes for a million cities, right? So what we're going to do is just go through uh, the process. So yeah, let's get right into it. So you have he explorer.helium.com as the main spot where you can uh, check out where your earnings are if you want to click on them, right? And then you also have a site called SiteBot. So I have a list of, I think, nine cities, right? So I'm going to just see if I can find them on SiteBot. So we'll start with Toronto. So let's try this country, Canada. Toronto pops up, right? So you have Toronto has 224 hotspots. Today they made 659 coins. Yesterday, 2,200 coins. The last seven days, Toronto area, the 250 hotspots have made 10,000 HNT coins, right? So you're going to go here, click Toronto. And then you can see. So what I would do is I would take this information and I might download it. Can you download it? No. Anyways, what I would do is I would take that information and I would download it to a spreadsheet and I just average it out, right? And obviously that's not going to be your average because you could be by nobody. You could be a lone wolf. However, um, that's just going to give you an idea of what's going on in your city and the pace. So the second city is so actually toronto so if we scroll down and we look at the rewards right you have 10 and 12 on the high end you have some people earning zero one right so Actually, we should look at yesterday. Nah, 24 hour, never mind. That's good. So between 18, I'm just going to look through 28, so 250 miners and in total, it looks like there was between zero and 18 coins per day, right? So earnings low is zero, high 18 per day. Right, then you're gonna go, let's go to Quebec. Hmm. Quebec City might not have any. They don't. <laughs> so <clears throat> we'll go with Montreal instead of Quebec. So the 163 hotspots in Montreal, right? So in 24 hours, obviously zero is always the lowest. Eighteen is the highest. So I'm going to say when I looked at those, the average was one to three. So low one to three and then high was 18. And there was only one miner that I saw, I think around one miner that did 18. And uh, low here was like zero to two. 
Okay, Vancouver. So Vancouver, five, five, six, four. Like these guys are more saturated. Two, three, one, four, five, six. No one high is earning high though. Eight, ten. So this one's interesting. Vancouver, you know, there's no math. You can do the math yourself, right? But low. Vancouver, I was looking at three to four, I'd say per day. And high was ten. That's interesting means Vancouver is getting saturated because everyone's probably in the same area. So Nashville. So country US. Then you're going to go to Tennessee. Nashville. 29 hotspots. So Nashville's ripe for uh, the picking. So if we go through these, 24-hour rewards, one, four, three, two, three, two, three, four, two, three. So the average is about two or three. High was really, there was a 10, but I would say eight. San Diego. So you can see this is really easy for you to find your city, right? Um, you shouldn't really need to ask people. The whole point of the blockchain is this public, this information is public. This information is for you to have, right? So you don't want to have people lying to you, telling you things to get you in telling you things, you know, so you can buy, so they can get out. Like, you don't want to have that. You want to be able to just make your own decisions. So San Diego. Nope, I'm in the wrong one. I should have been California. What is SD? San Diego has 263 hotspots. Maybe I should record the city's amount too. So San Diego did 577. And the internet's crapping out. So we got Toronto, zero to two. They had a lot of hot spots. You had Quebec, one to three. That's Montreal, right? So let's change this to Montreal because Quebec City didn't have any. Vancouver, most of the people are downtown, three to four, decent. So you can just throw yours in there and get in the mix. That was a high of 10. Nashville, two to three. San Diego, 577. All right, let's move on to New Orleans. That's Louisiana. All right. Let me see if I can get it on my phone. There might be too many people on that website. Yeah, it's the website. 
So sitebot.com, it looks like they are not, um, they got too much traffic or something's wrong with their, their server because I'm on my phone. So it's not my Wi-Fi. It's, it's an issue. Anyways, um, let's readjust. So how to find out how to calculate your earnings. Remember one, remember your miner is coming. One, you remember your miner is coming months from now. So site bot. One, remember your miner is coming months from now. Therefore, your earnings are going to be completely different than what you're looking up today. Two, earnings antenna. So earnings depend on your antenna, the height, and um, let's see, interference. So for example, if you have earnings, um, or if you have a helium hotspot and you have a condo, and when you look outside, there's another condo boxing you in and another condo boxing you in another condo behind you, that might be inf interference that interferes with your distance, right? So you actually don't know um, if your earnings are going to be accurate, right? So you're, or if your earnings are going to be the same as what's going on online, because someone could have a penthouse and they're beaming their signal all the way down, right? So then number three, you go to sitebot.com. Then you click on, then you click on helium, right? Then you click on states or you click on no countries. I'm going on it on my phone. So 68 countries right now. So you click on countries, then you click on, then you click on the state, and then you click on the city. And once you're there, you can just view So if you're going to view the earnings in your city, and then you're going to view the earnings in your neighborhood. Five, you might want to map it out. Because if you are zero to 5 km, you probably can reach them. So what I'm going to say is you're, if you're zero to five kilometers away, you're probably reachable. If you are 10 kilometers away, but you have a really good clearance, you have really good signal and everything, you can probably reach someone 10 kilometers. I've seen up to 60 kilometers being reached in helium uh, hotspots uh, witnessing. So then the next thing, so here's, you calculate your earnings, right? Remember your miners coming around from now. So obviously you're just doing an estimate. It's not going to be exact Two, your earnings depend on your antenna and your height and your interference, not the miner. Everyone thinks that the miner is going to make a difference. Like, does this one do better? We don't know because half of the miners haven't been delivered, right? The bobcat could come out just smoking everyone. We don't know, but it shouldn't, right? Because the earnings are not dependent on the miner. The earnings are dependent on your local area. How many miners are in your local area? And then how many witnesses you are and your proof of coverage, right? And your, and your uplink. So really the miner should not matter. As long as your miner is working, and you're located in an area where there's not too many hotspots on top of each other, you should be making money. Then you go on the sitebot.com, you click on helium, you click on countries, you go to hotspots, and then you can look at the hotspots earnings in your city. So what I would say is anyone who's earning more than one HNT per day, 365 HNT in a year, plus, you know, you might hit some consensus. That is a good 
amount of earnings. Why? Because helium is not a dollar, right? Helium is $14. Number two, the coin has the possibility, not it's not guaranteed, but it has the possibility, in my opinion, to go much higher than it is right now. If everyone's using the helium network and then there becomes more use cases, helium could be used as money. Um, if the hundred thousand, cause they, they say that it can do a hundred thousand transactions per second. If by default they can do a hundred thousand transactions per second, Visa does 50,000 transactions per second. So helium becomes a network. It can become money. It can become, you know, tracking devices. It can become a, an IOT giant. So the demand for helium is going to be way higher than it is today. Right now, the demand is for miners. When they stop selling miners, people might want to collect coins, right? So I'm looking for the opportunity to buy a, a bunch of coins, right, um, on a dip. So then you're going to map it out and see how many witnesses you can find, right? And if you can find eight, if you can find eight, that should be your optimal eight in an octagon shape. So when you're, you're witnessing here, fire behind you, whatever, that should be the optimal amount of earnings. Um, it's just a rule of thumb. It's not exact, right? So... Uh, that's it. That's all I got for now. So as you can see, most of the cities are the same. You're always going to have someone earning 18 HNT per day. You're always going to have someone earning zero. You're always going to have someone earning the averages, right? Zero to two, one to three, three to four, and then really good. I would say really good earnings where you're just like an average guy. You plug your miner in and you get lucky. I would say is seven to ten seven to eight HNT per day. So really good earnings, seven to eight HNT per day, like Calgary, um, brothers doing in Calgary. And that would be how you find your helium hotspot earnings, right? So now we're gonna go back on the helium explorer, see what's going on. So there's 28,508 hotspots today, as of 24 April, 21,000 consensus groups. And let's view the hotspots. Let's see if anything has changed. So as you can see, negative 228 hotspots. Not sure why that would happen. And let's look. So Helium has 693, Calchip 9300. Let's see if they can get over 10,000. Synchrobit, three, weird. Nebra, six, weird. Bobcat, whoa, Bobcat is back. Uh, Bobcat's up. Uh, long AP zero because they haven't started selling them any or selling them yet. Old helium smart mimic. So you got Bobcat and you got Calchip. Two miners that are delivering, right? Bobcat, Calchip. That's it. Now I've ordered from all of them. I've ordered from Nebra. I've ordered from Synchrobit. Um, I haven't ordered from Bobcat yet, but I might soon if one of my coins pump. So there you go. That's how you're going to find the earnings of your helium miner. And as, as always, thank you for watching the channel. Um, we had some technical difficulties that uh, were beyond our control, but we made the best of it. I think I actually made the video better. And um, please like and share and also subscribe to the channel for future videos. Thank you.